Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing and opening day at Santa Anita Park on Friday, September the 28th. This is my Echo Base Winter Circle Southern California race of the day. Take a look at the first stakes race on the winter card, folks, which of course will end up with the Breeders' Cup World Thoroughbred Racing Championships in November. It's a 24-day meet, racing day meet here at Santa Anita Park beginning today. Race 8, the feature, 4.37 p.m. Pacific post time. This is the Eddie D. Stakes, 6.5 furlongs on the shooted turf course. Grade 3, 3 year olds and up race 4, $100,000. Contenders, number 9, Red Sun. Number 4, Coast. Number 6, comma to the top and number two chosen miracle just in case you're unaware of the person for whom this graded stakes event is named edward j de la jose eddie d retired american thoroughbred jockey from new iberia louisiana he began his career in 1968 and 10 years later became the top american jockey with 384 wins he's won the kentucky derby in two consecutive years riding Gato del Sol in 1982 and Sonny's Halo in 1983. He finished second in the 1981 Derby. In addition to his wins at Kentucky, he won the 1980 Preakness Stakes and the 1988 and 1992 Belmont Stakes, as well as seven Breeders' Cup races. Eddie D. was awarded the George Wolfe Memorial Jockey Award in 1981, inducted into the Fairgrounds Racing Hall of Fame in 1991, and in 1993 into the National Museum of Racing and Hall of Fame at Saratoga. He retired from horse racing in January of 2003 as a result of injuries to his head and neck, suffered in the fall at Del Mar. Over his 34-year career, he's the 12th winningest jockey with 6,384 races won. In terms of monetary winnings, he's sixth of all time, having earned $195.8 million in his career. In this year's event, by the way, which was originally named the Morovich Stakes, number nine Red Sun, a six to one shot, has turned in power run performances and five straight starts, hitting the board in each, including a pair of power run wins being embedded in this recent streak of racing consistency. Number four, Coast, also 6-1 to one on the morning line, qualifies as a power pony. He's hit the board in power run fashion in four of his last five, winning in both his third and fifth races back. Race uh, eight summary, number nine, Red Sun, <coughs> tops my contenders list today here at opening day at Santa Anita, which also includes number four, Coast, number six, Comma to the top, and number two, Chosen Miracle. Nine four six two in the eighth from Santa Anita, the hundred thousand dollar grade three Eddie D stakes. Bonus long shots Charlestown race for the eight to one shot number seven Warrior Waltz drops in class by six track master units as the overall speed leader in this claiming field, sprinting at or about tonight's distance of six and a half furlongs on the dirt. Finger Lakes race six number. Three on to the next one. Six to one on the morning line takes a two level class drop. Nice overall speed for the six and a half furlong route test on the dirt. So from Santa Anita Park on opening day of Friday, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please head with your head, not over.